Interpersonal challenges are another concern. Many students with disabilities struggle to acclimate to the social demands of college life without the support system they had in elementary and secondary school. Commonly held stereotypes about disabilities, such as low intelligence or lack of mobility, can make students with quote-unquote hidden disabilities wary of opening up to classmates and faculty members. As a result, they do not receive the assistance they need to succeed, as said by Snyder. In the Philippines, there are a total of 2,105 schools offering special education programs. Four of them are national special schools, 450 are private special schools, 147 are special education centers, and 1,504 are regular schools that cater to SPED programs. As of August 2020, the Department of Education states that 46,000 to 50,000 SPED learners are enrolled in public schools. The average number of these students per public school is said to be at least 70. As they are of now today, a lot of them are still overlooked by the social order due to their condition, which ends up in them only picking up technical and vocational jobs for a living. Our goal is to decrease the communication barrier that results to discrimination towards the deaf or mute people, which leads to less opportunities for these people. The solution we are building is a two-way communication data processing labs that assist deaf and mute people to communicate to society without any special needs. These gloves utilize speech synthesizing to process gesture to voice translation and speech recognition to produce the words that a person says to the differently abled person. Through this glove, it creates the bridge for the deaf community to cross into the society. In this video, we will show the functionality of our prototype that works from perspective of deaf and mute person and also works from the perspective of someone who communicates to differently abled person. Hello. Thank you. What's your name? What's your name? Yes. No. In generating revenue, we plan on using B2C and B2B model. In B2B, we plan to coordinate with Department of Trade and Industry, Department of Science and Technology, Department of Education, and private companies or foundations that focuses on social welfare in order to subsidize our gloves to students in need across the country. Additionally, we also plan on using B2C model to sell our prototype to affluent wealthy families that need the gloves for the children. And, for every time someone buys a product, we're going to give a pair of gloves for free to students who in need through sponsor foundations. Our main pricing for the gloves cost 7,000 pesos for a pair. But, as we begin to find cheaper spare parts for mass production, we might able to lower the cost of the prototype. If this device receives right and proper funding, it will surely diminish the communication gap that the deaf and mute person is experiencing. This device will act as bridge for the deaf and mute people to further expand their opportunities in life. By putting this project as one of the top 5 projects in the Youth Science Innovation Lab 2020, you will indirectly contribute to the thousands of deaf and mute persons in the Philippines by giving the project a chance to be known as the messenger for the inarticulate.